Okay, I just saw the scoreboard. All right, so you're against a Rek'Sai here. Now, the first question you really ask yourself is, can I get fucked early on here? I'm not clicking that fucking link help. <laughs> can you get fucked at level 1, level 2? Because if you can, uh, you want to protect yourself. Now, Rek'Sai is a dog shit jungler until level 3, so really you don't have to worry about her at all. Uh, so in my opinion, when that's the case, right, you're just thinking about lanes. So that's the process you go through even in champ select when everyone's locked in. Who am I against in terms of the jungle? Do I have to protect? Can I invade? Is there an opportunity just to like run at them at level 2, even level 1? You'll see good Graves players and Kindred players, maybe even Nidalees, just r like late invade or early invade, whatever it is, before a camp even spawns. That's the process you go through each game. Now, if you're not going to invade and you can't be fuck protecting because you just like almost trust them not to um not to invade because they might be a full clearing jungler, then you can then you just think about your lanes, right? So what like kind of side of the map you want to path towards. But still, there are junglers out there, and this is what jungling is, Mads. There's no This is gonna sound weird, but there's no clear. There's no jungle route, there's no path. And you're probably like, what the fuck, bro? Rank 1 NA, that Shiden guy, has like a full-on document that he hands out talking about jungle routes and shit. Wrong. It's not how you jungle. I don't know if he jungles like it, by the way. He probably doesn't. But he makes it because it will just fucking sell or... Yeah, I don't, I don't know. But um, there are no jungle routes. So the dude who got Rank 1 Korea, which is a more legit server. Now, High Challenger NA is probably still going to be Challenger, but... The rank one dude in Korea not long ago is a Hecarim player. And I still think he's in like top five. If he was against Diana here, and let's just say you started on the opposite side of the map, he would legit run to your other side of the map and just invade you as a Hecarim. Which is fucked, right? But that is jungling. That's the highest level jungling. So it sounds troll, but you're just five heading. That That's all you're doing here. And you're thinking about the enemy jungler and trying to fuck them over pretty much it and the reason why you think about their camps before yours like i'm, I'm talking uh, a little bit generally but still this is just useful as a foundation like you want to you want to think about your camps as the last resort like i've got nothing else to do so i'll farm my camps and sometimes that's the case and you shouldn't feel like pressured oh, i'm not making any plays here i'm just farming my camps it's fine the map is going to tell you what to do based on uh, the lane states, based on HP of certain champions, um, and all that stuff, right? Okay, so let's get into this. So we're going to invade topside here. Um, they have a Teemo top. Goodness me. Now remember, your level 1 is weak as piss, like you personally, so... Alright, I don't know if you do this, but turn this off, normal cast, or smart cast with indicator. Turn it off, bro. Trust, 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 trust. First thing you do right now, actually, go settings, turn off that quick cast with indicator. Oh, it's the worst. It is the worst. I don't know if you're new to Diana, but you'll probably even just get used to it quicker with it off. Oh, that's unlucky, eh? <laughs> Look at that. Back out, back out, back out. Back out. Oh, 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 don't do this. Oh, don't do this. Oh. This is risky as, right? Because once the Teemo sees you here, that's a 10-second trip you're taking. What about if you get half HP'd? Then you've got to run all the way back out and recall, and you'll be late to your first buff here. And Nautilus and uh, Set aren't even running with you here. So this is really uh, greedy, bro. Because if I'm the enemy jungler here and I'm around this red buff area, like watching the entrance and my mid lane is here, they might like land a little bit of, of damage onto you and that is going to mean something. So be very careful, like, continuing with a play once you've been found out. No, turn it off, man. Just trust, trust, trust. Trust me, trust me. Turn it off, turn summoner names off. Don't, don't fucking type to anyone, all right? Especially drums on team. I know this guy, bro. I don't. But yeah, stop typing. Go into settings as well and turn on show timestamps. You want to know the times for shit that happens. Yeah. So someone might say, uh, not team OR. Who's on the enemy team here? Rex IR. Someone might type no R. And you like, are about to run into the Rek'Sai's jungle, you would want to know if he has his ultimate or not, but you don't know because you don't know when that player um, timed, the, timed the ultimate, right? All of these things are important, bro. All the little things, man, get you to fucking challenger. No one gets to challenger by, by fucking cheesing. 
or by making a new account with 28 LP per win. No one does it. You get Chow by doing all of this. You go for this anyway. What a fucking Chad. Holy shit. I don't mind it because the rec side is weak and you do have a set top. Um, but yeah, just tell your teammates, bro. Like, even here, if you're going to go for it, at least ping, like, on the way, ask for assistance, tab, press, like, click on the Nautilus. Let them know what you're doing here. Because you're just going in solo and there's every opportunity for the enemy champs just to be here and chunk you out. Maybe even kill you, right? So set thankfully um pings. Do Gromp here, do Gromp, do Gromp. Yeah, it's fine because like set being in lane level one is good, so whatever the set wants to do, bro, like if I was coaching Set, honestly, I would fucking tell him to, um, not leash you. So it's really up to him, bro. If he leashes you, then just take it. But he's, he's not going to decide the game, trust me. Yeah, do your Gromp here. So you, the reason you do Gromp is just because you get level 3, and, um, you, you still have options after that, right? Because if you do blue buff and you see the Rek'Sai on your red, you're only level 2 still with no E. So if you were to do Gromp and you see him invade, or her invade, you're like, holy shit. Let's go. But if you do blue, you still have to do one more camp, right? Because you're not going to be level 3. You're still going to be 2 after this. So watch. You're still 2 here. So if Rek'Sai now shows on the ward, it's really fucking awkward. So if you're going to do the red raptors invade, or even just red raptors on your side of the map, doing Gromp is always going to be better than blue. So just remember that. If you invade as well, so let's say you were playing Graves, right? And you go from your red to your raptors, and then you're like, fuck this, I'm running into his bolt side. Don't do the blue buff. Try to do the gromp, and you can even like sneak it down here and do it like out of vision, right? Hopefully that makes sense. <laughs> While you're doing this camp, um, uh, you probably know here, right? The Rek'Sai is either clearing to his top side. So she is, or he or she, if I say he or she, don't get offended. Rek'Sai is moving top side, or she's invading your bot side or even ganking bot here. So if I was you, I'd just ping the most dangerous play, which is to gank mid from bot, or from fucking the, the river bot, right? Where that crab is. That's where you would ping. So danger ping around that area and maybe the bot side of mid. Um, yeah, that's what I would do if I was you. I don't, I don't think going top looks good. I'm thinking about it. Like, I see Teemo pushing up, right? And I know they're fighting because Set's losing HP. So I know, like, that lane might be gankable. Um, but yeah, if you do Gromp straight away, bro, you, there's always the chance you can go mid. You can think about going top, but I don't think it's good because your whole bot side's up, right? So you've always got to think, man. Like, if you make a play, what am I actually going to give up? What am I going to lose if I make it? Because if the enemy jungler has half a brain, he sees you top, whole bot side gone. He gets 450 gold. And if you get a kill, it's only 300. It's actually like more worth for him in my opinion and he'll get more experience <laughs> yeah the 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 quick cast of indicator bro is actual just shit to watch i'm gonna be honest please turn it off okay so l l let's continue with this game so while you're even doing this mads okay that yasuo just watered that top try top try sorry the top brush so just watch where, where yasuo moves so when you're doing this camp, it should be easy. Like, all you're doing here is auto-attacking, right? There's no, like, abilities. So you should be looking at the map the whole time. I know Yasuo wards that of how he moves. So if you were to gank mid, you have to either go round that side or you gank from bot. Bot lane is not fighting, so you don't even really, like, have to think about running there. If bot lane is fighting a lot here, and, and let's just say... This is always a good indicator, right? Like a gauge. If you just look here, the Set and Teemo have been fighting. The Teemo is probably the similar HP, right? No one's going to let them half HP them for free. Okay? This bot lane, though, is the most passive bot lane. Look at them. Nothing is happening in this lane. That Morg is going to be full HP, I guarantee it. So nothing is happening bot. The only reason you would ever run bot here is because you think Rek'Sai is going to gank them in the next, like, 20 seconds, so you're there to counter. Otherwise, you're just thinking of golden experience. But I think here, you don't even do your raptors. You go like this to mid, and you gank mid. Because Yasuo, I'm pretty sure, has watered this. 
and and he's pushed up so can we kill him yes your victor's mana may might come into play so always try to think like um you know if he you can always scoreboard and see if he has biscuits and stuff um but right here yeah i'm looking to gank mid instead of doing this but i don't know if you can gank mid because the way is already there so actually the gank is bad I don't know that because I don't know the wave state, right? That's why you have to look at the lane before going. But you have to be flexible, bro. Not every game is the same. So you doing this clear right here, or not looking mid, is because like Yasuo is under his tower, which is pretty much like no reason to go mid. You should still be aware. So if Rexai ganks, you're there quick. So you maybe you could always like pull Raptors down here a little bit. So you can still go here or you can go to red, right? But you're always reacting to the information the map's giving you. And it changes from camp to camp, bro. Each fucking footstep you take, mate, it changes. Um, and maybe even doing Raptors here. If you were to do any camp, um, I think you should go straight to the fucking crap. To be honest. Ashley? It's an interesting one here because Yasuo has priority. But their Rex is probably top, right? Because he hasn't invaded your bot side. So I think you should just go straight to crab and trust Rex is top. And you have priority bot. So if I was you, ping here on the way to crab. If you're not going to gank mid, ping on the way to crab, press tab for the scoreboard and ping the Nautilus. So he's ready to move up. The AD carry wants the CS, right? It's very important for laners to always get golden experience from minions. It's how they scale. So you don't want to like fucking force the Ash to come up. But the Nautilus should be more than happy to help you secure this crab here. Um, because you don't know what Rek'Sai is going to do, right? So in another game, this crab, he, she may have like just taken it. And if you have Nord here and you catch her out, it's a kill. Look mid, look mid, look mid. So as soon as like you're doing this, bro, always look or be ready to look at lanes if something happens, right? So look at mid lane right here. So yeah, you hit the crab. Yeah, every auto attack, I'm looking at mid, by the way. So I'm still playing as you. But when you're auto attacking, I'm looking at mid. There's They're on top of each other. Bot lanes, you have to look at? Of course not. Because there's fucking 10 meters between the, the champions. That's the scale as well. But yes. Looking mid here is important. Did you miss that Q? I actually hope you did. Let's go, bro. Th there it is. The indicator. I, I, t I told you. I told you it is dog shit. I told you it is the worst thing, man. When you're playing a champ like Diana, you have to be quick. You have to be quick, bro. This is not being quick. Is, um, is, is Aram still here? <laughs> I guarantee you that Iram does not use indicator or normal cast. Holy shit, you recall here? Recall for a blasting one day? And yeah, you can't use your E, right? That's pretty funny though. Um, set is going to get dove here. Rek'Sai, if she is topside, should definitely dive the set. Look at his HP, so you should be pinging top. Um, I don't know if you did before, but again, Lane is going to forget, bro. Do not go mid here. Don't go mid. Don't go mid. Don't go mid. Don't go mid. Don't go mid, man. Right, if you gank mid, it's not just about the Yasuo, right? This guy is unkillable because you have a Victor who is almost doomed, and he's so far away from you. So this is... We could have saved all this time you just took to do the crab and then run to mid, which might not be long, five seconds, but five seconds is huge if you're playing against a challenger jungler. So that's why we take it seriously. Okay, so it might not matter in this game, which is why you're in this elo. Because it doesn't matter. But if it does matter, that's how you climb. Cover for Rek, but if Rek side ganks, like, who cares? Like, you just ping the top side and Victor never dies. And if you engage onto the Yasuo, that's it. Like, Rek side can easily counter this and it's super troll. So the only reason you would ever go mid here is just uh, to cover the dive. Because you can't win the 2v2 without the tower. That's how I see it. Or without them like really overextending. So right here, I actually don't mind what you do. I think recalling is really fucking good. And going to your gromp and then full clearing back down, I think is great. I think doing your red buff in Krugs is actually a waste. So this base you do, because you do recall, right? Were you going to recall before? I can't remember. Yeah, so right here, recalling the brush is actually a good, I like it. So maybe covering, yeah, it's all fine. I just don't want you to think about ganking that lane ever unless they dive. Because you can't win the 2v2 row without the tower. <laughs> run to Gromp, run to Gromp, run to Gromp, run to Gromp, run to Gromp. Because your Gromp is going to spawn in... Oh yeah, because you did his fucking Raptors. Sorry, I'm thinking about like as if this is a normal game, right? Okay, so you're running to his Raptors. Oh, this is, this is red hot. This is what I'm talking about. This is clean, bro. Um, yeah, as you're basing here, just always look at 
uh, the lanes, right? So as you're basing it, you can see mid, but look at top. Have a look at top lane because you never know that Teemo might be this, the, the freest kill of all time, right? So you can just run straight there. Running to his Raptors, I like because the 415 timer. Yeah, 420. Uh, I respect it. Okay, you actually look top when you're running out of base. Honestly, honestly, man, this is this is good. I was I was talking a bit of shit there. Rex size bot, nice. So you see her on a ward and you go for the raptors. This is uh this is very good jungling, bro. Last minute has been very good. I just want you to look at the lanes when you're farming camps. Yep. Run through, put a wall down. Ward the brush, 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 please. Please ward the brush. Ward that brush, thank you. Okay, so the reason like you ward that is just so you know if you have to smite or not. Now, when Yasuo comes over, it's a bit annoying, but you should never just be doing this camp row in the same spot. So you queue it, which is good, of course, because you want to get as many queues off as possible. So you queue this, you W, you run up, you ward, and you leash it like this, out. Yeah. You were doing something? Okay, so... You don't use um, normal cast or indicators, do you, when you play Diana? You just play quick cast, yeah? Because my boy Mads just missed a Q because he has indicator on on a scuttle crab. That makes sense, Mads, like how you do this. Because you're still doing it in a really risky position, close to that brush where Rek'Sai might be. Yeah, quick cast, yeah, yeah. And if you were, like, towards the red buff, it, you'd be a lot safer. Oh, look at that, mate. Okay, let's watch this mechanically. Okay, you refill, which is all good. Yeah, I think you just save your ease, bro. Yeah, so just, like, save your ease here. You want to save your second E pretty much all the time. Unless, like, you can just kill him here. But you should just be saving E and Wing here. Save E, W, you don't have to, like, flash or anything like that. That guy's not going to kill you. Holy shit. Bro, look at this guy. Look at the yes, mate. It's fucking Arca Dada. Is that his name? Yeah, second E. Yeah, you just hold second E, exactly. Yeah, so right here, Mads, because your, your E is the most important thing, right? I know what you're trying to do. Um, Just remember as well, like, Yasuo's Q is a fucking... He actually holds it here, which is pretty smart. You see how he, like, waits you out? So it's kind of funny. Against champions like that, you really just want to... It's, it's almost like a battle of patience in a way, right? So yeah, just use your second E to, to secure the kill. Or to get out if you have to. But the play there to do Raptors, bro, is 100% correct. You just have to leash the camp out. And um, I think you pinged on the way as well, so Victor kind of knows, which is good. Okay, so let's, so let's have a look what happens here, right? So we're dead, which is AIDS, but yeah, we just have to react to it. So you get Amtone here. Yeah, Dark Seal seems shit. Getting Amtone is definitely good. Okay, you path top. Hey, there he is. Connie X, mate. It's upside down. Where have you been, bro? How you doing, man? Um, okay, you can just run straight top here and kill him. Um, because he'll still be level 5 when you're there. If he was to hit level 6, you can never kill him. Level 6 is that wave that's next to you. So, the, the second cannon, right? Which is like 5.30, the timer. So, I think you should just go top here, bro, right off the rip. So, it's like you look top, you see the Teemo pushing in. The set is healthy enough to make a play. And he's got Flash and Ignite, so you're just like trying to envision what the fight is going to look like. So in this situation, it's like, what, what does Gromp actually mean? We can always come back to do Gromp. Um, but yes, if they were level 6, bro, I would not go to that lane. Like, if Teemo is hitting 6 on that previous wave, do not go. No way you win. Even if Set is 6, I think it's fucking so risk. I, I don't know why, it just looks so different to me. Okay, let's have a look. Look at this bot lane, man. Oh my god, the Rek'Sai. Oh, ho! Took you Raptors, unlucky. FF. Yeah, I don't really think there's like any play to be made. You could think about going bot. So yeah, like as you're moving bot side here, Mads, like to a different... Look at this set, bro. Can you fucking come? Or farming is more important than a free kill. Hey! <laughs> Help from above. That's me on a, on a smurf. As you're moving bot here, look at the bot lane. 
Connie X, you, you, mate, you've got issues. Just relax, bro. What elo are you, Connie X? Because just remember, like, when I gave you one session, uh, you climbed a whole tier, yeah? It wasn't even a session, it was just a vote review. So you listened to LS, Connie X, for like three years, listened to me for 45 minutes, and you climbed a fucking tier, mate. Has to use quick cast, yeah, yeah. So that's what I'm talking about, though, Mads. So even even before you go to like red buff here, and yeah, red buff is nice to get. You should still be looking bot. Like I'm not saying don't do red because I think you probably should. Um, and Morgana has also watered the uh, the tri brush. I'm pretty sure. So as you're moving bot or like thinking about ganking a lane, so maybe mid, you're trying to like watch their carries. As look, Morg has just gone off the map. The Jin just went off, and look where Maud runs back. Morg. See how she runs back close to the wall here? So, sometimes if I play support, I'll go like this, right? I will still go like this, but I'm not going to run close to the wall, because it just looks so obvious I'm warding here. So what I'll do, I'll run off like this, and then I'll wrap back. And then when I come back to lane, I'll do the same thing, where it looks as if I've come down here. From the Drake or something. So you need to know what they're going to see. As you're moving to the lane, right? So yeah, you do red buff. This is all still fine. But now you have to understand that if you gank this lane, like, bro, that, surely this is fucking warded. Huh? Like, surely this is warded. Never mind, it's not. So yeah, just be careful of that. Don't touch the next wave. Good, 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 good. When you play jungle down your lane needs... Uh, help, just leave your red or just leave that farm and run to your teammates to help them. Yeah, it always depends. It's just it's just what the map tells you. I think doing red there is probably okay. I just want Mads to... Like, the principle is to look at the lane as you're moving towards that side of the map. Just so you have, like, a context of what's going on. Nice. I agree with doing Krugs. You get alternator. Very good. Now, where are we running out of base? Let's have a think. So, it's seven minutes, right? So, where's Rek'Sai going to be, Mads? Top side, right? Because you took his red buff. Okay, you ping your blue. I think he'll prioritize. She will prioritize red buff over blue. So far as Rexar, I'm probably thinking of going like, you know, red buff. Oh, she could probably full clear down a bot. There you go, miss. Right, guys. I've watched this game before. Legit. I downloaded, the, downloaded this game from Mads' um, IGN. Yeah, but it just makes sense to me. Like, why would you do blue buff? If red's up, and he also shouldn't want you to take his red buff so in case you invade as well doing it just is just good here um you're one camp off six so i really want you hit to hit six before doing anything else and i think you should run to the top scuttle crab so at a base right here the rex size should not be level six she was only level four what's up golden this is uh p platinum is it platinum i can't remember what uh matt said but yeah here at a base bro you're you're one camp off six you could always like um, sit in a brush near mid, but oh, sh like you might show on vision, and it's it's pretty shitty, right? So yeah, just here, run towards the scuttle crab top side. The reason you do uh, scuttle crab top side here is because the wreck side wants the crab. If you can deny it, and she runs there, you waste her time, which is big, right? Efficiency, bro. And you can always come back to blue. Yeah. So crab, and you'll be six there. Like you don't even need blue buff, so you'll be six with red buff. Um, can I go top? Can I go to mid lane here? Yeah, so here we're just like kind of waddling about and that Rek'Sai was five and if she's level six and you're making a play like this, it becomes very risky. Oh, the, my God, there's a control ward. Mads, this is the craziest fucking foresight I've ever seen. You knew this was control warded and this gave you six. Holy shit. This is five hit. Just saw title on vid. What do you mean, Golden? That actually deserves Remember the Name played over the top of it. How long have I gone for, by the way, with this search? 20 minutes? Yeah, so as you're running bot here, bro, look at bot lane. Look at bot lane. I know they're full HP because of what's above that map. Ash and Nort are full HP here, right? So there's no way you can kill them. No way you can kill them. And especially if Rek'Sai is pathing bot, uh, you're going to fucking troll the game, right? Now, if you're going to go to her top or bot side jungle sorry again you're pinging the nautilus what you do is great how you run off 
to make it look as if you're running out, and then you come back, which is good. I just think this play is way too risky. Go to your top side to blue buff or to crab, sorry, hit level six, look to make a play. If nothing's on, then we just come back down to blue. You can farm Gromp and, and work your way down. But you see like how no one knows you're doing this, Maz? Like the Nautilus is still in lane. He hasn't even moved and he can move. And he moves when he's like, oh shit, our Diana's over here. Let me have a look. Hit that blast cone, by the way, if it's not too dangerous. And you've got a trinket here as well. Put a trinket here. Put a trinket anywhere in this area. It's good. <sighs> I'm worn out. What do you mean, golden? Title on the vid. The Claire vid, or? Yeah, Yasuo's missing, so Yasuo's also could also be moving with the Rek'Sai behind here, waiting for a knockup. Got to be very careful here, bro. <laughs> Yep, and now we've got to go away from, like, where the Rek'Sai is. It has the rank in it. Oh, oh, shit. Okay, 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 okay. Are you drunk? What's up, Pados? <laughs> the piss? Mate, can you calm down? Like, I'm giving a 1500 LP vote of you, yeah? I've got to concentrate. And uh, I've got people saying the piss in my chat. Just remember, your collective rank, chat, is like gold, yeah? Just remember that. Um, what you could do here, Mads, is just run straight to Rift. So, piss low. <laughs> doing, doing Raptors, I don't mind, because you kind of drive by them, and it's pretty quick. Um, but after this, just think about doing doing Rift. Because you ping here. You know that the Rek'Sai is bot. So, why can't you do Rift? Why can't you gang top, or look top at least? These are the things, man. These are the ideas here. So your camps, you're only doing your camps in most situations, in most, okay, not all, when you've got nothing else to do, man. You're just falling back to them. They're always going to be there for you, no worries. They're always going to be there, mate. But do they win games? No. Rift Herald, Crabs, Enemy Jungle, Diving Enemy Champions, Ganking Lanes that are good to gank, they win games. Bleed perp? Who is bleed perp? You mean do anal? Uh, he uh, will probably do one tomorrow or in two days, I'm guessing. I'll probably message him, like, tomorrow. Saying, right, when are we doing this fucking sesh, mate? Put my website across your screen. Oh, blue smite as well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, how did I not spot this? Um, take ember knife. Uh, Mads. I mean, maybe, maybe, maybe it's, it's, I mean, you have first strike though. Yeah, I think, who's the enemy jungle? Rek'Sai, who's kind of squishy-ish? No, you probably want red smite against Rek'Sai. I think, um, I think there might be an argument here just because of what you've taken, right? Um, so blue smite on Shaco, right? The, if you're going AD Shack, I love blue smite. Because if I'm running, um... If I'm going, like, Dustblade and full damage, I'm about one-shotting, yeah? When you play Diana with First Strike, it's telling me... I don't know how good First Strike is, by the way. I don't know if that's legit tech. Red for sure into a neck? Yeah, but the thinking here is, like, you want as much damage as possible, right, to proc your First Strike damage and the gold. So Blue Smite actually makes sense. But the question is, can you one-shot the enemy jungle? Like, is it a bruisery extended fight, or is it a very squishy champion like an Evelyn? And Evelyn, you would probably just want... You could maybe take Blue Smite. Red Smite might be useful still, though. But I kind of get the thinking. I'm just not sure how uh, how valuable it is. Because Red Smite is so fucking broken, bro. So Red Smite will always work. Always work. But maybe there are some um, some games where you can take, uh, take Blue. Anyway, let's continue. Yeah, so as you're pathing top here, bro, before you do walls, you're looking at Rift. You're thinking about his topside jungle. You're thinking about Teemo ganking Yasuo. Etc. Yeah, I mean, Rek'Sai... Yeah, Rek'Sai is very squishy. Um, and even if she has Conqueror... Yeah. Oh, mate, see, that's, that's where you need. That is where you need the smart cast. Oh! Drums! He's done ya. Look at him go, the Teemo, bro. <laughs> He's loving it, mate.
Can you say this though, Mads, like how crucial this is? And you ping bot, which is good, but you see like how I said, go to Rift? Yeah, and I think you have- you- I don't think you can go through lane here unless the fucking set, like, flashes. Actually, going through lane's fine, bro. What's he doing this set? Yeah, he has to go so much earlier, so just wait for him to go, man. You're in vision probably right now. This is definitely in vision. So, the set, you should show where you are right now, and you'll get used to this with experience. I can't, like, tell you, oh, get a fucking ruler out and measure it, right? You can be seen here. I know because when I play Shaco, if I lane gank, I have to know when they can and can't see me. But the set has to be fighting Teemo here. He has to be fighting Teemo. And when he doesn't, run back out. Run back out through Tribrush, go to Scuttle Crab. You could maybe think about doing Rift Hell, but it's risky because Rek'Sai might reset with support and run there. Teemo's got prior, Yasser's got prior, you get fucked over. <sighs> Guys, I'm, I'm out of breath. Holy shit, everyone's so scared. If Yasuo is in the brush, Victor comes over and you one-shot him. Yeah, so crap, 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 crap. I mean, it's it's fucking late. No, don't do it now. Don't do it now. Oh, no. Oh, no. I really want you to die here, Mads, so I look really smart. Oh, this elo, bro. Where is Rek'Sai? Can you say that, though, Mads, how you could get fucked over there? Like, there's no way you should be able to get the Rift here. No way, in my opinion. Like, the set is on 200 HP. The Teemo has had prior this whole game. And, uh... You also just wasted... Like, you've got no no cooldowns. Because you just use your ultimate right on the Teemo. So I think Rek'Sai should have based straight away bot. Maybe, maybe she did, but she's just doing her own camp. So even that Rek'Sai is... Um, jungling like you. Like most people. So yeah, you, it's kind of useful, right? You can always think about like how the enemy jungle can fuck you over there. And maybe play the game from their point of view. And you'll get a better gauge on like what they can punish, right? So that's why I said like if you go red, Raps as Gromp and you gank that Teemo, your whole bot side is gone. If that Rex side was to do that, you would then see, holy shit, like me doing that is actually just not worth. I lose so much. Yeah. Yeah, Rek'Sai's probably... Honestly, I reckon Rek'Sai is uh, Raps as a Wolves, pathing bot side, though. See? If you have Smart Cast, you don't... You actually Q. Holy fuck. This is why you've got to look, bro, as you're doing the camp. Maz, this is going to be the last thing we look at, because I think I've gone for like 30 minutes. Um, Any questions, by the way, about what I've talked about? Like, you understand? Yeah, you've just done a shreddy, Mads, which is where you start the camp, and then you just run off. But this is why, man, I want you looking at that. So looking mid here is good. You've got like your camera kind of on mid, but I want you looking at mid, um, even here, bro. So maybe you do. Let's have a look. Because I am skipping it. Yeah, so I want you looking mid here, man. Like, you don't need to micromanage your movement. Watch this. This is very important. So when you're when you're moving here, look at this. Why micromanage your movement like this? You can just macro it, bro. Right-click on the minimap. Move your camera, that square, to look at mid. Ah, Yasuo's pushing here. Is the wave going to be there in 10 seconds so I can make a play? Yeah? In you go. If Yasuo, if that wave is about to be shoved, you don't go there. Of course you don't. That's why you can also look bot after you do Krugs. So even while you're doing Krugs here, bro, you can maybe, like, think about bot lane. Now, your Ash isn't there, so it's probably, like, not even worth, and yeah, you running away from it makes sense. But again, it's just a good habit to get into because it contextualizes, like, where you are on the map. <laughs> 